Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. So today's video is going to be short and sweet, hopefully. We are skipping um, stuffing my sinking funds and savings challenges for this week, I'm trying to get ahead on a paycheck. So we are just gonna be stuffing my wallet. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I think we're working with 220, 220 or 225, <laughs> I can't remember call, um, today to stuff into my wallet. So if you saw my budget with me for my fourth paycheck, I'm gonna set this up while I'm talking. If you saw my budget with me for my fourth paycheck of March, you would see that I doubled my amounts to put into my wallet um, so that I may get ahead a week because my paychecks are all sorts of messed up as far as the timing of me getting paid. So. We're just gonna be stuffing my wallet and then hopefully next week things should be back to normal. So we do need to empty out some of our change. I did a little bit of cash spending this week, not a ton. Let me grab Miss Piggy here. Oh, here she is. So I will put her stats up as usual, but we do have just a little bit of change just from when I went to Aldi. Oh, I know there's another coin in here. There it is. And I'm gonna put back one quarter for my cart. And let's go ahead and stuff her. No. There we go, some got stuck. All right, so that was short and sweet. Miss Piggy is all stuffed for the week. She is fed. All right, so let's get right into my wallet. So it has been a while since I came up with these amounts, so I truly hope that I can remember how much goes in each of these. <laughs> we might be doing some adjusting at the end. So groceries, I believe is getting its usual $85. So we have 50, 70, 80, and five. And I'm trying to be good this week and we are not going, I think we're only gonna eat out once. I think that's the plan is to order or go get food just once. That's it. <laughs> All right, eating out is gonna get 65, 20, 40, 50, 60, and five. I'm trying to remember my denominations, you guys. <laughs> so we have 20, 40, 50, 60, and five. Going into eating out. Because if you saw, if you've seen this month, like I just feel like always do is spend our money on like eating out. <sighs> okay, gas is going to get $50, 20, 30, 40, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I like to put ones in this because I do swipe my card at the pump. I'm too afraid to go in and prepay, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. Um, and so, you know, sometimes that total is not an even amount. And when I go to do my cash on stuff things at the end of the week I might be running low on ones and so when I go to take out my gas money I want to make sure I have the exact amount that I need to put back in the bank and I have considered just leaving my gas money in the bank but it's another thing that I'm tempted to spend so that is why I do not keep this money in the bank because I'll just be more tempted to just swipe my card um because I, even though I do end up putting most of these things on my card, it's just a mental thing for me. I don't know what it is, but just having the cash out and not sitting in the bank for me to see my balance being, you know, a high amount, it just does something. So even though I do end up swiping my card, I don't know what it is, guys. So we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 49, and 50. Oh, and I need to put these this way. Biggest bills at the front. I don't know why. I used to put the smallest bills at the front, but now I try and put the biggest bills. I think it's because I saw other budgeters do that. All right, so then for spending, Zach is going to get $10. I'm gonna give him, actually both of these 10s look pretty bad, but I'm gonna give him the nicer of the two of them, which is this one. So I'll give him that to put in his wallet and then $10 is going to me to put into my wallet. And we, if you saw my um, 
budget with me or not my budget with me my weekly check-in you will have seen that I did not have any rollover I had to empty out all of my envelopes and actually dip into miscellaneous because I overspent in my wallet so we are gonna try and be as good as we can this week with not overspending on this so that is all I have for you short and sweet super simple um I will hopefully be back next week with my regular cash stuffing but I did not want to miss out on this because being consistent is key with budgeting um even though I may have had an off week last week with my spending we are going to do better this week it's always a new fresh start at the beginning of every week so like I said before that's all I have for you today if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video bye bye